Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with the flip through. So we have the astrological oracle cards, which are really beautiful and sort of an unexpectedly beautiful. It's the, the box is um, very shimmery and sparkly. <laughs> and I was like, who made these cards? Oh yeah, Los Carabeo, no wonder, no wonder. So the astrological book is also very sparkly. And so let me just show you. Um, it's, it does have the description of each card in here. But what I also like, it also has the... Um, it has the aspects and the houses. And talk so, and there's different ways that you can um, use this these cards accordingly. And so, like here ha we have the sun and the moon, Sol and Luna, and Mercurius. And so, how the sun is in the different, you know, the combinations between the sun and and the other planets. And then you also have the combinations between Mercury and the other planets, and Mars and Jupiter and Uranus and Neptunus and then you can also do this um, circle of houses readings and something I did a long time ago just using the Rider weight deck I used to do this a lot um, face to face with friends and so it is kind of a heavier reading it might even take you know it took me like and maybe an hour or more to do that kind of reading so that would be something I would have to do just like on a FaceTime type thing if, if I ever get that going. But um, yeah, it's a really interesting way to read. And so I really like this, these, um, the book, how it shows the different possibilities here. It's very nice. And I was going to get this deck for, you know, these lunar events and things for July, but you know, we got plenty more events coming up. So look out for more astrology readings. So Oracolo Strolo Gigo, Gico, I feel like that's Italian. Uh, it was pretty, I was thinking maybe Spanish at first, but no. Oracolo, I think is the same in Spanish, but um, Estrologio is the, is the Spanish. Anyway, so yeah, um, we got Spanish, German, and Russian, I think, in the back here. And very pretty book. Very lovely designed. It's it's the um, Art Nouveau style, which I love. One of my favorite styles, studying art in school. That's really jumped out at me. And Mucha is one of my favorite artists. And so that's kind of got the, that kind of flair. And so this, this woman, Antonella Castelli, um, designed this, but the the overall uh, design and publish publishing is from Los Carabello. So let's take a look at the cards. And so yeah, I got this nice little pack. Oh yeah, so here this shows you all the different languages. And. <laughs> Even the, the little cards on the back sparkle. And so the cards definitely sparkle. Pardon the noise. I'm like starting to collect too many things and this is also my art desk. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. So I just wanted to show you that each card like uh, also has sort of a, a foil thing going on. The silver around, there you can see it silver around the heads. So this is the Aries. And that is Taurus. And Gemini. And Cancer. And Leo. Virgo. Libra, Scorpio, 
and I'm so happy that Scorpio is attractive. I never get a pretty card, so I'm look at even as pink. <laughs> this is um, Sagittarius. I like its flowers, and then Capricorn. Aquarius, Pisces, Soul, which is Sun, Luna, the Moon, Mercurius is Mercury, Venus is Venus. <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturnus is Saturn, Uranus is Uranus, or Uranus, however you like to pronounce, my daughter likes to pronounce it Uranus, Neptunus, Neptune, Neptune and Pluto. I just think they're just so perfect with the skulls and everything, but it's just not like scary, but it represents it. So there you go. They're very neat looking cards. Work really well, I think, in conjunct with other um, tarot cards and other astrology cards. I loved my Barbieri cards, but you know, sometimes I like a different kind of artwork, and I feel like these are softer and prettier, and they'll, they'll go good with. Um, some of the other cards I have. So I hope you like that, you guys. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.